Hey guys, it's Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be talking about the Casper Hybrid Mattress. I'm going to be letting you know everything you need to know about this mattress, the pros, the cons, the construction, who it's a good fit for, who it's not a good fit for. Basically by the end of the video, you're going to have a pretty good idea if you're going to want to get it or not, so stay tuned. If you want to see a list of my favorite hybrid mattresses, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Hybrid Mattress. If you have any questions about today's review, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I do read every single YouTube comment and get back to you, so just leave a comment below, get back to you as soon as I can. All right, we have the Casper Hybrid Mattress here. I'm a big fan of Casper in general and the Casper Original Mattress. It's very similar to that mattress, so what I'm going to do is review this and also compare it to the original Casper mattress, letting you know which of the two you should get. So I was excited to jump in and review this mattress. Let's talk about what's inside of the Casper Hybrid Mattress. Starting with the cover here, very similar to the Casper Original, has a nice feel, polyester, very thin overall, not going to affect the feel of the mattress too much. Moving on to the mattress now, there's a foam layer for these coils to rest on. Then you have pocketed coils, very supportive material, very durable material. There's air that can just flow through here, so it's going to make the mattress more breathable as a result. Then on top of here, we have three different layers of comfort layers. We have a very soft, kind of latex-like layer on top. You can see if I push my hand in just a little bit, it gives in immediately, so it's a very soft layer overall. Then we have a memory foam layer. Let's see what that looks like. It's faster to respond than most memory foam is, so you're not gonna get that feeling of getting stuck. Then we have a transition layer here. It's actually zoned, so it's gonna be firmer in the middle of the mattress. So if you sleep on your back and stomach, it's feel a bit firmer, a little bit more supportive. But if you're on your side, it's gonna feel a bit softer underneath your shoulder. So it's gonna be a good match of both pressure relief and support at the same time. So when you mix in the coils and the zone supports, it's gonna be very uh, support, supportive mattress overall. It's also gonna be very comfortable when you're on your side, just very soft layers on top, also with that zone support. And it's gonna be a very breathable mattress overall. So it's a very nice um, construction overall. All right, let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put this mattress about a six out of 10, with 10 being the firmest. It's a little bit softer than average. It's got some pretty soft top layers here. See, I can push my hand in pretty easily there. It also depends on your sleeping position. Because of that zone support within this mattress, it's gonna feel a little bit firmer when you're on your back or stomach and a little bit softer underneath your shoulder. So I'd say six out of 10, but it does depend on your sleeping position. As far as the feel is concerned, it has a nice neutral foam feel, very easy to move around. Um, it's a little bit bouncy because of the coils. I'll show you what that looks like here. You'll see this across ball bounces right up. So it has a lot of different foam type qualities in one, kind of latex-like and memory foam-like in one mattress with um, some bounce because of the coils as well. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions. Starting on my back, I feel pretty good. I feel the zone support. It feels a little bit firmer than it does on my side, so I feel like it's a pretty good match for me from a support perspective on my back. Switching onto my side, it's definitely softer underneath my shoulder, so you can definitely feel that zone support, the difference between back sleeping much firmer and then side sleeping a little bit softer. So definitely a good match for me there, great pressure relief. Switching onto my stomach now, I would say it's maybe just a little bit too soft, even though they have that a little bit firmer uh, support when you're on your stomach because of that zone support. I would say in my personal opinion, if you just sleep on your stomach, you probably want something a little bit firmer. Mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing. It's a very objective test that shows you exactly how well each mattress relieves pressure. Get down on a pressure map here. Lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. Only thing to note is if you have different body type than I do, you may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person. I want to give my experience in the Casper Hybrid mattress. So in terms of firmness, Joe said it was a 6 out of 10. I thought it was closer to a 6 and a half, just a little bit firmer for me. I'm pressing further than the mattress, feeling some more firmness than Joe did. But starting on my back, fantastic. Really nice overall support. I feel the zone construction holding my lumbar area, supporting me there. My hips sinking just the right amount. It's really nice on my back. On my side, some really decent pressure relief because it's softer under my shoulders and my hips, so those sink in, feel very, very nice pressure relief there. 
On my stomach, a decent match as well. I feel the zone construction holding up my hips so I don't dip in too much into the mattress and get out of alignment. So what does that mean? I think if you're a heavier person like myself, the Casper Hybrid could be a good choice for you. If you sleep with a partner, you're gonna to wanna to consider something called motion transfer. Basically, if your partner's moving around that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? To test that, I've got a glass here. I'm gonna create a little disturbance around it. See that the glass isn't moving too much. We have some nice soft foam layers on top, some memory foam there as well. So it does a good job of isolating motion. Had Martin jump in and out of bed. Um, I didn't really feel that motion transfer over to me, so I feel like this mattress is a pretty good option for couples. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you're gonna to wanna to consider edge support. Basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you can fall off? And I'm on the edge here. They have a reinforced edge system. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall off whatsoever, but I'm gonna lie down on my back now. And I'm not getting any of that rolling off the bed feeling whatsoever, so I would say the edge support here is very good. All right, let's talk through some of the pros of this mattress or who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. Number one thing I can think of is it's just a great match of comfort and support. So when I'm on my back, it's very supportive, a little bit firmer because of that zone support. Yet when I'm on my side, it just feels very comfortable. It's a little bit softer underneath my shoulder, has very good pressure relief. It's also gonna be a more durable mattress, just having those coils in the mattress can make it more durable. It's also a very breathable mattress. So if you're worried about kind of sleeping hot, um, this is gonna be a very good option for you. I would say it's a very ideal fit for side sleepers and for back sleepers as well. All right, now let's talk through some of the potential cons of this mattress or who I think this mattress may not be the best fit for. I would say this mattress is a little bit softer than average or right in that medium kind of firmness range. So if you're looking for something that's just firmer, you're probably gonna to wanna to look elsewhere. I would say stomach sleepers, if you just sleep on your stomach, you're probably gonna want something a little bit firmer as well. I would say it is a hybrid mattress. It is relatively expensive. I think it's a great value overall and that it's gonna last a little bit longer, but you can get a lot of the same qualities from kind of an all foam mattress that would be a little bit less expensive. All right, if you're taking a look at the Casper hybrid mattress, you've probably seen that they have the original mattress as well, and you're probably wondering which of the two should you get? Is it really that much better to get the hybrid? I guess my overall take is that the hybrid mattress is better, but it does come at a little bit of a cost, so you kind of have to decide for yourself if that extra cost is worth it. So as far as what is actually different within the mattress, it's really just the base layer is coils versus foam. So what that means is it's gonna be a little bit bouncier with the hybrid, it's gonna be more supportive, it's gonna be more durable overall, it's also gonna be more breathable and have better edge support. So overall, it's gonna be definitely better, I would say, but you just have to decide for yourself, is it really worth that extra few hundred dollars to go with the hybrid? So definitely better, it's gonna last you a bit longer too, so it's a little bit better of a value than you might think at first glance, but those are the things to know. All right, if you're taking a look at the Casper Hybrid mattress, you probably wonder how this compares to the, all the other hybrid choices out there on the market. So why should you get this over those other choices? Number one thing I can think of, on my side, this probably feels the best out of all the hybrid mattresses. It just has that great pressure relief, a little bit softer on top. So if you're a side sleeper, I'd definitely take a look at this mattress. It's also just probably the best balance of comfort and support because of the zone support. So it's gonna be a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive on your back and stomach. Feels great there. On your side, a little bit softer, great pressure relief there. So if you sleep in multiple positions or you're just worried about getting the right firmness for you, I think this can be a really good option for you. Want to give you some additional information about the Casper Hybrid Mattress. This company usually does have discounts available. Check our description. We usually have an exclusive coupon code that can give you up to $100 off. They also have free shipping and returns. They started with the Casper Original Mattress. They have the Wave Mattress. Now the Wave Hybrid, this Hybrid, and the Casper Essential as well. They have a ton of accessories too. They do have financing available. So if you're worried about kind of making one lump sum payment, you can make smaller monthly payments, which is a really nice thing to have as well. All right, that's basically it. I think a lot of people are gonna like the Casper Hybrid Mattress, which is a very comfortable mattress overall, and it's also supportive too. So just great mouths of comfort and support. It's very breathable. It's gonna be a very durable mattress as well, and just very supportive for people really of any weight as well. I would say the only word of caution is stomach sleepers. You probably want something just a little bit firmer. But that's basically it. If you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see a full list of our top picks, you can simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.